Hi friends, welcome to Trade Quest Weekly Trading Trends from Trader Sat. I am Raju Angadi Vishwanath here, a certified financial technician from IFT US and a founder of Trader Sat and a SEBI registered research analyst with more than a decade of experience in researching and trading in financial markets. So come, let us have a sneak into the equities as well as commodities trade setups for the forthcoming week for the fourth week of October 2020 on the Indian financial markets. So let us start with a recap of the how last week paired with the equities as well as commodities nifty lost around 150 points around 1.3 percent and uh, closed around 11,760 after after 500 points of gain unable to sustain above the 12,000 psychological mark for the week although we tested we pulled back lower towards 11,660 zones well the bank nifty lost some 300 points uh, overall after a two straight weeks, uh, straight weeks of rally, a mild negative candle was formed, unable to sustain about 24,000 mark, which is psychological important mark. While the Nifty Metals gained energy, FMCG and media saw some distribution to profit booking patterns on the charts of the indices. The other indices also showed some fatigue at the higher levels like Nifty IT formed a shooting star, infra, mid cap and small cap saw some profit booking closed mildly negative for the week while well, the gold coming to the commodities front gold lost 0.5 percent uh, silver lost 1.9 and almost 2 percent for the week crude oil gained mere 39 points uh, closed positive for the week around two triple nine levels so that's a brief recap on the previous week how the equities as well as commodities paired now let us start with the equities weekly trends starting with the nifty nifty lost 152 points 1.31 percent forming a small bearish candle on a weekly chart hinting the put side over built around 11,700 mark which is very important level to watch out below that 11,500 is the next highest open interest built on the put side while on the call side 11,800 is a decisive mark which is uh, facing an important resistance above that we can see 11,900 and 12,000 levels uh, where the OA base is built. So above 11,800, uh, 12,000 levels can be seen in the forthcoming week as per the OA data. Well, the bearish uh, bank Nifty, which has been underperforming, now showing some signs of uh, resilience and strength, closing the Friday's markets on a positive note, uh, note with Nifty gaining 0.7%, while the bank Nifty gains somewhere around two percent plus for the week still lost one somewhere around 1.5 percent forming a hanging man candlestick pattern on the weekly charts with oi base spread between 23,000 and 23,500 as the volatility started increasing even the option prices are at the higher zone so uh, that is expected to continue go ahead with the put side open interest is built around 23,000 and 23,500 zones uh, any decisive moment on the downside can only be seen below 23,000 while on the call side 24,000 and 24,500 holds to be the resistance zone uh, weeks rose around 6.18 percent for the week uh, closing at 21.64 Hints there could be a rise in volatility as the weekly charts of the India weeks also hinting uh, global uncertainties and the US ma markets uh, can rest assured that the volatility is set to rise in the coming weeks. So that's a brief on the equities weekly trends. Now let us have a sneak into the forthcoming week trade setups for the Nifty as well as Bank Nifty. While the Nifty, we saw a strong bearish engulfing candle on the Thursday session. So it was one day sell off that can't be concluded as a complete reversal in the trend though until certain uh, threshold is crossed one needs to be cautious on that so that sell off from 12,000 zones to 11,670 uh, zones has been quite strong so we need to watch out how that uh, pans out for the next two to three trading sessions uh, will the retracement be stronger or we are going to chop around uh, would decide the next trend deciding factor while 11,660 holds to be the important level on the downside. On the upside, 11,800, 11,825 and 11,865 to 880 becomes a major resistance. Once that is taken out, we can fuel the further rally towards 12,000 plus zones. So 11,860 to 880 can be the important zone 
which can be the halfway mark of the whole fall which we are expecting so while on the downside 11660 to 680 broken decisively we can see 11600 zones 11577 zones actually 11577 and 11493 are the important supports below that 11350 levels can be seen with a nifty so watch the levels accordingly to establish the trade setups and it is uh, a uh, wait and watch zone and uh, one needs to trade objectively at these kind of a levels so how the trend pans out if the bank nifty sustains and supports nifty can inch further higher as the chart hint so let us have a sneak into the bank nifty chartical setup we are stuck in a range of 200 day moving average and a 20 day moving average which is hovering around so the key currently we are trading around 23533 while the rise from 20400 what we are seeing is not in a overlapping fashion that is one promising sign but still we are facing a stiff hurdle near 23870 or to 900 if that is decisively crossed 22100 to 24100 to 24300 would post a hurdle once that level is crossed we can head towards 26000 zones in the bank nifty as the chart hint so watch out for the level first hurdle is 28 23900 above that 24100 to 24300 is a major resistance zone while on the downside for the bank nifty 23050 and uh, 22750 to 800 becomes a very crucial zone 22750 to 800 if decisively broken we can see the sell off until then bank nifty would be a clearly buy on dips and one should not uh, go aggressively short as we are uh, stuck up in a both the averages band so that's a brief on the bank nifty use the levels accordingly to establish the trade setups so coming to the stock watch for the forthcoming week some Uh, accumulation is happening in the metal stocks uh, which is showing some signs of recovery as well as the charts hinting some positivity jsw steel indalco oh, are showing some good signs of positivity jsw steels until uh, 290 to 2 Uh, 285 to 295 is held on currently trading around t 311 the stock uh, on any dips could be a good buying opportunity for 330 to 340 zones even indalco can test uh, 200 plus zones as we are seeing uh, in some uh, positivity in the base metals so that is uh, uh, one even chartical structure looks good while the dlf is forming a, a bullish head and shoulder pattern once it crosses above 163 to 165 we can see 185 to 190 levels in the stock uh, as 145 to 165 has been a consolidation range for the dlf now 154 becomes a good base so watch out the levels accordingly in these three stocks can be in the bullish radar if the market continues so stfc bank based on the results reaction on the monday how it pans out out one needs to watch out the bank nifty as well as nifty trend decider stock where the positive results were seen but we need to see how the market takes it based on that uh, if uh, uh, 1160 55 to 70 is held on the stock can test 1260 towards uh, further higher towards uh, 1300 zones shorts were seen in upl united phosphorus z entertainment pvr while m and m and itc also are seeing, seeing signs of distribution itc any rise up to 172 is not decisively taken out we can see 157 to 155 levels uh, by the end of this month so these stocks some shorts are seen that's a brief on the stock watch for the forthcoming week trade setups now there is a small ad if you would like to become a master day trader and learn the day trading secrets in five steps grab your first free video on tradersat.com/optin for more details visit of the master day trader workshop visit tradersat.com/lp1 or tradersat.com/master day trader workshop so if you would like to get advisory services with a sabi registered research analyst and on in your trading with your indices trading like nifty bank nifty or stocks or in commodities please visit us for a free trial on tradingview.today learn earn and prosper we are there to help you 
to kick start your journey to become a successful trader so that's a brief ad now let us come back to the trade quest weekly trading trends on the commodities weekly trends gold lost around 260 points around 0.5 percent closing at 50600 still we have stuck up in a range formed a mild bearish candlestick pattern on weekly charts hinted a pause of a pullback which was happening while the silver lost 1200 points almost last week 65 70 percent and the rise has been negated with a two percent loss forming a dark cloud cover candlestick pattern on the weekly charts well, the crude law gained around 39 points or 1.32 percent forming a mild bullish candlestick pattern on the weekly charts still we are stuck up in a range so now let us have a sneak into the chartical analysis of the commodities for the forthcoming weekly trends starting with the gold gold uh, although has broken out of a sloping trend line we are still in a slow choppy advance which would give a confirmation only above 51,100 to 51,300 or 400 levels if it is decisively crossed we can inch higher towards 52,000 and 52,500 zones so 51,100 to 300 zones would act as a resistance while 50,840 to 880 is the short term resistance on the downside the psychological mark of 50,000 to 50,200 becomes a very important support for the gold until that is taken out one can be on the long side with the buy on dips so that's a brief analysis on the gold watch the levels accordingly to establish the trades while coming to the silver chartical analysis again silver is stuck in between the two averages which it's clearly displayed 62300 to 62500 is a major hurdle for the silver on the upside while on the downside 61600 to 61400 is a important support either way breakout can yield some 1500 to 2000 points in the silver so the band what we are seeing is 62300 to 500 and 61600 to 61400 so broader 1000 points range either way breakout to one needs to watch out as we as of now we are in a, a range bound action which is happening either way range breakout can shift the trend shift lead and gain the momentum while coming to the crude oil we have been unable to cross the 200 day moving average from quite a long time and we have been in a choppy sideways action from the june it's from almost four four and a half months we are seeing a sideways action and uh, which we are witnessing while the crude oil the important levels to watch out are 2880 2920 and 2923 in fact and below that uh, we can see 2840 as the important supports short term 2947 can be the support while on the upside 3050 3090 and 3110 would act as an important resistance once decide civilly 3110 to 3140 is taken out we can see a shift rally or else even 2840 is taken out on the downside 2880 to 40 is taken out we can see a shift fall in the crude oil still we are stuck up in a very tight band there can be a band expansion going ahead so one needs to keep the fingers crossed and trade within the band accordingly for the crude oil for at least for the current period so that's a brief on the crude oil analysis and also on the trade quest weekly webinar from the trader set if you like our video please subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, get the more updates and the insights on the markets and the analytics and also learn and prosper feel free to contact us on tradersat at gmail.com thank you everyone have a happy and prosperous trading week ahead